Hello everybody, my name's Bill. This is Rust to Resurrection, the channel where we talk about all things Jeep and the occasional automotive. In my last video, I told you about a gift of uh, Jeep pamphlets that I had received from um, an acquaintance of mine. So I thought it would be fun today to go over some of the content of these two pamphlets and talk specifically about some of the pricing that is listed here on the back of one of these pamphlets. Now this is my 46, 1946 CJ2A, and these pamphlets were specifically for the CJ2A. So let's talk about some of the pricing and specifically about some of the options that were priced out for what was going to become an ag jeep or an agricultural jeep. This is pretty cool stuff. So I thought it would be fun to kind of look at um, what was being priced out and then compare it to the pamphlets themselves and most of what's being priced out, there are photos of it in these pamphlets. So for instance, you could buy the Jeep, the CJ2A. So it says here, fully equipped with four seats and full top for $1,470, right? <laughs> that's, just, that's just a crazy, amazing price. Um, these things are worth what? Um, 10 or 12 times that now. <laughs> so um, that's pretty amazing. But you had to buy everything as an option. So for instance, you could buy the Jeep with a driver's seat only for $1,344. So you get $150, $60 off if you don't put the rest of the seats in, all right? Or the top. I think that's, I think that's incredible. Now clearly all the pricing was designed to create an ag jeep because every component listed is something that you would use on a farm. So for instance, power takeoff. So if you wanted to run something like a winch um, or you wanted to run a, a, a saw for cutting, cutting firewood um, or for running some implement out back that required a power takeoff. That power takeoff unit was priced at $87. If you wanted a hydraulic lift, so you could lift up one of your implements like a plow or a, a, um, a lifting mechanism of some sorts, that, um, that hydraulic lift was priced at $187.50. So obviously, uh, the intention was to to plow a garden or plow a field because he had a 12 inch double plow that were designed to go behind the Jeep and I'm assuming was a available at a, at a Jeep dealer. The 12 inch double plow was $159.80. Now there were several options for plows but the plow that was being priced here was the plow that was directly out of the, the catalog. So for instance, uh, some of the old horse-drawn uh, plows, you could do a direct tow behind on the, on the, um, the Jeep. And so here's something that's interesting. Um, my, my dad, uh, my dad was, was raised on a farm uh, and they used to mow the fields. And we, when I was young, with the old MB, we used to mow the fields with this horse-drawn um, cutter bar and literally it was it was iron wheels and, and so this Jeep could be used for a lot of things and, and my family did they actually dragged one of those uh, horse-drawn sickle bars behind the Jeep and we used to cut cut the field down with that you could also get uh, or he priced a seven foot tandem disc plow so um, that was $177.15. <clears throat> and finally, the last thing that was priced was a spike tooth harrow. And the price on that was $108.15. Now, if you add all of those components up, the $13.44 for the Jeep, the $187.50 for the hydraulic lift, uh, the one fifty nine eighty for the the double plow, and the one hundred eight dollars and fifteen cents for the spike tooth harrow. 
uh, what was not included in that final price was the power takeoff. His intentions were to simply, like I said, to, to plow a garden or to plow a field, uh, to, to plant some kind, of, some kind of crop. So I just think this is all kind of cool because you don't only get to see the, the pamphlets themselves, but you actually get to step back in time into some, somebody's planning where they, they went to the dealer and they priced all of these things out with the intent. So you get the clear intent that this was going to be a, an agricultural vehicle. If you look at any of the early marketing for the post-war Jeep, it was clear that, that Willys was trying to market this to, to an outdoor or, or an outdoorsman kind of, uh, kind of person. So either agricultural or, or hunters, uh, a, lot of, a lot of this marketing went for hunters as well. So uh, again, uh, this is just pretty, pretty cool that you get to step back in somebody's brain um, by simply looking at these pamphlets. If you enjoyed this short video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to this channel. I'm trying to make it grow. Ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post a video. A lot more good stuff coming. I'll see you guys in the next video.